you're a professional athlete, when you're an athlete in general, everything's pretty much structured around that given sport. You go from a egotistical athlete who's been giving the world to you to, to, to having your own money and basically being literally on your own able to do what you want to do. That's not a bad thing for some people, but for me in particular, it was hard because again, you got free time. I actually got to do things that'll set me up for 10, 20, 30 years down the line. So once I got done with my playing career uh, with the Detroit Lions, I naturally just went right into it. Uh, tried to avoid it a little bit because I just wanted to do something different, you know, create a unique identity for myself or whatnot. But you're born with the gifts that you need to be successful. So I had that hard conversation with my cell phone, what it is I need to do and let me hear. See if you, uh, this second, this is perfect, perfect. You with that? Nice. As an individual, you got to be honest. I don't give a damn what you're doing. You got to be honest. I tried podcasts. I tried uh, writing. I tried... Uh, um, doing a little acting at one point. I tried so many different things to run from, you know, just sports in general, because I was done. But once you sit down and you really look at yourself and say what you were born with, what are the talents I was born with? What are the school, what are the skills and tools that I have right within your hands, right within your grasp, you know, it comes to you. And once you find it, you got to do it every single day. And once you do it every day, I mean, the rewards come. But nothing comes without consistency. Walk all the way up to that damn bar. Drop down. Scroll up. Being a trainer is not reinventing the wheel. It's just all about, again, staying consistent and, and staying on top of your job and, again, implementing a lot of things. Well, I picked up along the way in my career and, and basically handing it off to a lot of these people who need that consistent push in their life. I take pride in, you know, my work. I take pride in people trusting me and getting them where they need to go, whether it's feeling better, whether it's working out a, working out a sciatic nerve pain or damage in the nerve or whatnot, or if it's losing 10, 20 pounds. I take pride in taking care of everybody's individual needs.